Good day YouTube fam and this is not my daily vlog this is just a little uh, add a inner because I've been watching YouTube on Chromecast uh, that's how I watch it I just zap it onto the telly so I have a big screen anyway I thought I'd weigh in on this whole Jacqueline Hill situation I was just watching uh, Christie's video and a few others even um, Jeffrey Star weighed in on this one the state of those lipsticks, holy Jesus. I have seen lipsticks like that before in my collection. I actually had a MAC lipstick that had, well, it was old. I fucked it out, obviously. It was gone off. So I honestly think that those videos are expired for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I looking at them now, let's put it this way. I wouldn't use one, I wouldn't buy one, and I wouldn't recommend to anybody else that they do until Jacqueline sorts out her lab because uh, I've worked in a lab uh, well I wouldn't call it a lab exactly it was uh, laboratory conditions shall we say gloves full body suit booties uh, the fellas had to wear masks and I worked in, uh, under those conditions and even when you walked in because I worked in a production line when you walked in and we were dealing with tiny products when you walked into the line, you were e-tested before you walked into the line because if you carried any electricity going through you, you'd mess up the product. We had gloves that went halfway up our wrists, um, masks on the boys, and you gloved and you made sure no skin was seen on your arms. And here they are in the video I was watching with your one Jacqueline Hill and they had little, what do I call them? Um, material gloves. We used to wear them under our leather latex or our nitrate gloves. You could wear them under it. Fingerless little gloves that you wore under, but the, still the, 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 the main glove went all the way up to your wrist, up to your elbow nearly, in some sizes. That's how you run a production line. You make sure that there is no contaminants. Also, every few weeks, there was a guy that used to come on our line with machinery to test for contaminants. You know, I mean, I don't know what sort of operation, what sort of a lab she was working with, but clearly they were not doing their job right, judging by the quality of the goods that have been shipped to her customers. Now, she needs to do herself a favour. She needs to get her ass online ASAP with a, a lot better content than she has already with regards to this. She needs to apologise to her customers, recall all the product, and send it to a reliable lab to be tested to see what went wrong with it. If this stuff was, as she claims, um, the production line or the production batch was ran on a specific day in, Mar in May, then she needs to go back. Now, I was also, uh, I thought I'd weigh in on the batch situation. I noticed now they were saying about the batch numbers, right? If you're creating a batch number, how it's done usually, in a lot of, in production, now I, don't, I never worked in cosmetics, so I can't weigh in on that. But um, the way we used to, it used to be the year, the month, the day, followed by a, a batch number, and the time is at the end of it. So you knew the year it was made, the day it was, the month it was made, the day it was made, you, you got just um, all the information. And we could literally type it into a computer batch number, I don't know, whatever, blah, 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 into a computer and it would tell us um, uh, what time it was made, what time it went to zone one, zone two, zone three, pack for packaging. So we could trace that batch all the way across where, what time it was shipped, where it was shipped to, what the number on the box is that it's in, the batches, you know, everything about a batch. It allows traceability so that if you have a quality issue, you can chase it all the way back and get to the bottom of it. And then you can investigate. What we used to do is if I failed a batch where I worked, we would inspect that batch. We would inspect the batch before it. We would inspect the batch after it to make sure that what came before was okay and what we were creating now was okay. And that's how it ran. And that's how the way it worked on the production line I worked in. Quality was the big thing. I worked in quality. I knew that our quality, we used to call it the Bible, 
back to front, upside down, inside out. So if there was an issue, you could spot it. You could um, stump the problem, kick the problem up the ass quickly. Now, now th that's just the way. And I wasn't making makeup. I wasn't, we, we weren't making products that if they are gone off mouldy, um, have whatever is in them, whatever, I don't know what mould or fungus in them, can make you sick. Which is a possibility. I'm not saying that the people that were up online with their videos saying that they had burnt lips. Someone with very sensitive skin. That is a possibility. I have sensitive skin. I have psoriasis. And there are certain perfumes I can't wear because I'll get blotches on my skin. I'll get a headache. Won't feel well. There are certain creams I can't put on my face because I'll get little bumps around my head. Or there... Do you know... So it's entirely possible that someone could have bought one of her lipsticks, the damn thing was gone off or mouldy or whatever, and the poor sod put it on their lips and the next thing, they look like a monkey's arse. Their lips look like monkey's arse. If you look it up on YouTube, guys, but or look it up on Google. Seriously, though, you need to do yourself a favour, Jacqueline. I, I, I know who you are. As in, I've heard of you, I've watched a few of your videos, but I'm not subscribed to you. And um, In light of these events, nor shall I be. Do yourself a favour, recall the product, refund your customers, start from scratch again with a new lab who has a much more progressive attitude towards quality. And my dear, that will give you a chance to get your brand off the ground. That is my advice to you. And my advice to anybody watching this video who's thinking about buying these lipsticks, having watched all the shit that I've been watching the last two days, I'd be afraid, my sensitive skin. I would literally be afraid for my life. And yes, as for reporting this to the FDA, reading the definition of what, what should be reported with regards to cosmetics, I say, report it to the FDA. If, if this lady is unwilling to fix this problem herself and safeguard her customers, then let the FDA crawl up her ass and deal with the problem. And I don't mean this in any bad way against her. I mean, I hope that she can resolve it, that she can recall the products, refund her customers, do start from scratch, use a different lab, and give her brand a chance. As the way I look at it is, when you start something like a brand, you are putting your faith in other people. You are trusting that the lab that you hire to do the job for you have good quality, have the right attitude, are checking the product to make sure, are doing what requires to be done. Now, all, I'm not an expert on this. That's my disclaimer. I don't know fuck all about making cosmetics. But in my opinion, coming from a quality background, no, one strike, that lab is gone. She needs to go to a new lab. Even take advice from someone like Marlena Makeup Geek. There's a girl who had an issue, came out, sorted it out, looked after her customers and her business is thriving. That's the kind of, you know, and she's an honest young one. You just have to come out, put your hands in the air and say, yeah, I take responsibility for this. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is what we're doing to sort it out. I'm so sorry. Um, return the product to us. We'll send them out self-addressed envelopes to return the product free of charge and refund them. I mean, and I, I would report, if it was me and I bought one of them and I got fucking juju lips, I would report to the FDA and I would, uh, there'd be a class action lawsuit going. Now, I hate to say the word class action lawsuit, but I've, I've never heard of it in Ireland anyway. But my advice is, Jacqueline, recall the product, refund your customers, put your hands in the air and take responsibility. And, by, and be honest, girl, be honest with your customers. Do you have any chance? And I won't be buying those lipsticks. I'd be terrified for my life, right? And adios muchachos, and that's my little bit of rant for today. Bye!